I got the Dorado on. I just left. I'm not gonna get nervous. It's a brick fish. I'm not used to this. It's pulling me all over, but I'm enjoying it. It's going pretty hard. It's jumping. I wish you could see this. You can't. Should have a camera pointed on my head. This fish is trying to lose the lure. It doesn't want to die today, but I want to eat it. This is going to be my first mahi if we get it aboard. It's the biggest one I've seen so far. On, I mean, that I've caught, I think. It's not happy. I'm just going to play it cool. I'm tired of fish. I wish you could see this fish jumping. It's crazy. I think I'm gonna go right in. That's right. If I'm able to reel it in. It's pulling me to shore now, so that's not a bad thing as long as it doesn't go in the surf. Fishing with a ruby lure, by the way, they're actually the best lures. I don't want to brag, but they're heavy, you can throw them far. They have a good action in the water. Oh, baby, I like this sound. It does not stop, it does not stop. Dude, Nikki, girl, thank you guys so much. This is my dream come true, Mark. I don't like to be out here by myself though. We should hook up more. Man, I hope I land this fish and we can have a dinner together. That would be nice. I don't know how big this fish is, but it's big, Mark, I think. And also, thank you, Aphrodite, for letting me do all this crazy stuff so much. You're the best woman I can imagine for. And of course, thanks, George. down now. Tired a little bit.
just started this kayak fishing thing. I've been surf casting for a year. I've been fishing all my life, but I started fishing like seriously again for about a year because of my buddy George and my wife. Now I'm hooked on it again. Now they have to pay the price and let me go fishing. Anyways, I'm planning on starting since 1st of January. I want to do this video blog. I'm not going to be in the kayak daily, but probably once a week. And I'm going to you know, take you guys on my adventures around the beaches here where I live. I happen to live in a beautiful town of Puerto Escondido, South Mexico, state of Oaxaca. It's a really nice place to live in. Moved here from Belgium, because I'm Belgium, together with my wife, started a business. So I rent rooms. I can do the fishing guides thing. You can stay in a room with me at Casa Calani. It's always fun. I mean, I, I practically get fish daily. Not even, not always big ones, but there's usually some something going on here. It's really fishy. It's really fishy, so it's not that hard to find them. But you've got eyes. now but my arms are starting to cramp it's getting closer but little by little I don't want to put too many pressure on my line I've got a 40 pound on this should hold but the leader is pretty light and I'm fishing with an incredibly small hook I, I was going for a, a, a jack or something this fish is a little bigger than I expected and honestly which is always fun, of course. So I was saying, you can contact me by casacalani.com or follow me on the Instagram, casacalani. You can see all my catches. This guy will be on there today, if I get it. It's not in the boat yet. I've learned that. It's not for sure been fighting with fish for longer and still lose them so I'd rather tire the fish really well instead of doing stupid stuff and lose the fish that'd be bummer this guy is getting to the end of his game it's just using its weight I don't know how big this fish is man what the fuck I mean damn Mark. Okay. That's 
detail that's going on my wall. Dere Motje, when I come your vente. Pa, I come, waiting to sit, waiting what I can do. I'm going home, baby.